Hi, my name is Bob Craig. I'm the director of the Media Center here at Andover Newton Theological School. The school is launching an exciting new venture in learning opportunities for both laity and clergy. Participation in online learning experiences like lectures, courses, workshops, and study opportunities will be recognized through the accumulation of Sabbath hours. For further information on Sabbath hours, contact our Director of Ministry Studies, Jeff Jones, through our website, www.ants.edu. Here is an excerpt from an exciting lecture series by Professor Carol Fontaine. Welcome to Andover Newton's exciting new program the Sabbath hour program that lets you deepen your life of faith through the study of theology in the modern world. We're here today to talk about the Hunger Games trilogy by author Suzanne Collins. If you know any young people or you keep track of media trends, you know that the Hunger Games trilogy has broken all sorts of records on the New York Times bestseller list. And now that the first movie of the series has aired, we have been seeing smash box office records taking place as lines of young people, and especially young women, line up to see the first movie, The Hunger Games, with its incredible young heroine, Katniss Everdeen. Now, Suzanne Collins is the daughter of a military historian who spent a lot of time teaching her about battles and empires and the way military force is used to dominate population groups. So Suzanne Collins knows her history and knows what Rome did. Can it be that Jesus, who is the bread of life, is the model for the boy Peta, who gives bread and is willing to sacrifice himself so that Katniss, the nature girl we normally see up in a tree or with her bow and arrow, can live? Out of love, Katniss and Peta find a way to resist the deadly games that the powers and principalities would have them play. Why do the Hunger Games matter today? In this world, many in Christian churches, and especially our young people, are beginning to understand that Jesus' message about bonding together to change a world of global poverty is not metaphorical. It is deadly serious because around the world people are starving on behalf of the rich. Could it be that some of the underlying message of the Hunger Games can help us teach the message of the gospel, which is not just about life eternal, but a lot about life right now? Jesus, Katniss, Peta, and all the others are speaking to our young people about a very ancient tendency when human greed is ensconced in political power. You have the source here for a great initiative with your youth to lift up their heads, to put down their text messaging, and look around the world and answer that ancient call from the Sea of Galilee. Follow me. Join us next time for Catching Fire. Does Jesus catch fire in the minds of our youth? Will Pan Am and its dreadful capital survive? Katniss's resistance in refusing to be a pawn who kills others? Join us next time and find out. Thank you and goodbye.